Okay, so Michelson Gale basically told us that um, they got a rotation of 15 degrees per hour of the ether rotating around the earth. Now, I don't know how much you know about flat earth, but um, I was in a kind of a feature movie about that. And it was a hit piece. It turned out to be a hit piece that went viral on uh, Netflix and everything. And we had an opportunity um, because uh, we have actually have a flatter scientific group called FE Core. And what we did is we purchased a fiber optic gyro, which of course is a laser interferometer essentially. And because we wanted to find out, well, is the earth turning or is it stable? Well, to our surprise, when we turned on that fiber optic gyro, we registered a 15 degree per hour drift and it blew us away. We, we didn't know what to do. We thought about you know different ways to block that to see if we could isolate what it was, even thought about encasing it in bismuth, right? <clears throat> per you know one of the things you were talking about. But um, none of that stuff worked until we said, well, if it's the ether that's actually turning, then what we need to do is see if it has a different rate of turn at different elevations of the sun uh, at the same latitudes, right? Mm -hmm. Because on a ball earth, that shouldn't be possible, but on the flat earth model, it absolutely would be. And lo and behold, we definitely got some variance between our first test site, which was uh, Pikes Peak in Colorado at 14,125 feet, and then we went out east uh, to the Eastern Plains on the same latitude line to about 4,500 feet. So we had a 10,000 foot variance and we got a very substantial rate of change on that rotation. So that basically told us, well, that isn't then the rotation of the earth that we're registering. So then we found out about Michelson Gale and Michelson Gale said, okay, yeah, we detected the same thing. How do we determine what it is? So then along comes Aries failure, right? And Aries failure, I guess had already been done by then, but uh, it, it's a simple optical experiment, uh, which we are going to reproduce in FE Core, that you take a telescope and you point it at the stars. Right, well, first of all, are you familiar with it? That, Aries no, failure? No, no. Okay, so you, you, you take a telescope, you point it at the stars, and if... Uh, and then you take that as a reference, and then you fill the front of the telescope up with water, which theoretically would slow the light coming in to the telescope, slow it down. And the idea was, is that if the light was already coming in at the correct angle, meaning that it's the sky that is turning above us, then they would not have to adjust the telescope. And if it did have to be adjusted, that meant that the earth is spinning below it. Well, lo and behold, the telescope did not have to be adjusted, which meant that it was already coming in at the correct angle, which meant that it's the stars that are rota rotating <clears throat> above the earth yeah. and not the other way around. That's a fascinating so, experiment. That's really cool. I need to look that up. Oh yeah, I'll, uh, I'll definitely share some information on it with you. So, uh, but the whole nine yards is of course, then Mickelson Morley came in and they ran their experiment and they got something like uh, a small percentage, like 10 percentage of what they expected for uh, an earth rotation. But, um, you know, they didn't know exactly what to make of that. But if the ether is spinning and what they were doing is the Michelson-Morley experiment was, was made to measure linear motion, they were just kind of catching <clears throat> that edge of the, you know, arc rotation. 